Shostakovich being uh, uh, author of one very successful composition, decided very bravely not to go the same way, but radically change. The difference between number one and number two is shocking, but without this symphony, and then, of course, we will talk about third symphony, there will be no fourth symphony, which is already one of greatest symphonies of 20th century. Tens of millions of Soviet citizens break with the Tsars. It's not for us anymore. And this powerful propaganda, powerful message which was sent to the people, we are the new, on the face of the earth, they are the, the newest energy, will be the most powerful. But the message to dominate the world and to lead the world into brilliant future, enlightened future, was not linked to the names of Mozart or Tchaikovsky. It was something else. And Shostakovich, being, of course, very wise young man, he couldn't ignore and couldn't close his ears and his eyes and say, no, 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 I stay with the world of Leadov. He's a wonderful composer. The miniatures of Leadov are perfect. This is the way I want to live my life. He chose totally different, shockingly unusual, shockingly brutally dissonant, with an involvement of powerful male chorus, which will send this message from the name of working class, Soviet working class. The world should hear, we arrived. There was someone expected around 1925 that was already nearly 15 years after the death of Gustav Mahler. It was expected someone will be there, and it was Shostakovich.